Hello everyone, it's Comfort Beach Ambish, and today I'm going to introduce you to something called DPA, DPO Direct Pay Online. So in this episode, we are going to uh, focus on how we can really integrate DPO Payment Gateway to your PHP web application. Okay, so before before you could even uh, go into details, we need to understand what this DPO thing is. Okay, so uh, DPO DPO works just like uh, any other payment aggregator, whereby they do provide uh, a, a couple of uh, payment payment options that you can integrate to your platform uh, through their single API. Okay. So, uh, in, in the previous years, we had Flutterwave, which was uh, which was the most prominent one. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's no longer supported in most of the countries, apart from in Nigeria and in Uganda. Now, in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can integrate DPO. So, in this, uh, there are two ways of integrating uh, DPO APIs to your web application. It's either you use their GUI, the graphical user interface, or with the use of the custom built payment page. So uh, in this in this app for this uh, SDK which I'm about to show you, I created it using a custom made uh, payment interface. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is to download to download uh, this GitHub repo. The link is already in the description. You don't have to worry about how you could be able to access this. Okay, so I'm going to locate it in my uh, directly there. I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to uh, paste it onto my PHP uh, start start starting directly. So I know most of you guys are using uh, either Zamp or Wamp. So for you guys who are, who are using uh, WAMP or ZAMP, you can just paste this in your HT Docs folder. But for me, I'm just using a custom PHP server uh, on my on my Linux. So it doesn't matter the machine that you're using. All you have to know is that it will work. Yeah. So I'm going uh, since since I'm on Linux, I have to define the permission. So I'm going to make sure that uh, uh, this thing is accessible. Uh, of which to most of you Windows guys, you don't have to really define the permissions. Okay, so now that I've downloaded, uh, I've, I've I've downloaded this on my this SDK on my GitHub repo. Let's follow these instructions that I defined here before we could go into details. Okay, so as it as it is as it describes, this is a simple PHP custom direct. The reason why I am calling it custom is because it's using a custom interface. Okay, it's using a custom interface. So the first step here. You need to make sure that you acquire your API keys. That can be done by accessing uh, portal.dpo.com. So, uh, for you guys who would like to, so for, for you guys who would like to know how you can acquire your API, your your, your DPO API keys, um, the 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 link is already in the description. I already made videos about that. So, step two, uh, we are going to uh, open the the whole the the, the whole uh, sdk directly and then uh, we're going to navigate to classes and then we open dpo.php and then the first thing we're going to do here is the company token we're going to replace it with the company token that dpo sent so this is what usually happens when deep after you create an account dpo will instantly send you the test credentials the reason why i'm reviewing reviewing these details is because they are test credentials they do have they do have zero effects okay uh okay so the the most important things to take note of uh are these uh, is the company token and the service type the service code and of which they are all already here okay so i'm going to follow step two in your root directly for the here so open with visual studio code me i'm a vs code guy so let's have a look at uh, the structure of everything so in the root in the root structure of the sdk we do have verified.php the verified.php file just does nothing but to verify the transaction and then the success.php this is where 
this 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 is where the payments get redirected after 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 a user has has confirmed and then the pay.php is 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 an interface which just displays uh which it just dis displays the the payment form and then we do have the include include which is the submit.ink.php this one does nothing but to submit the payment it calls the dpo it creates the the dpo pay object and then it initializes the payment that's what it basically do here yeah nothing and then here we do have the classes dpo.php so this is the main class which handles everything and lastly we do have the assets for dash which makes use of bootstrap to uh, give us this uh, uh appealing interface okay so i'm going to uh, uh, so our main focus here is uh the company token here so you have to pay a uh, particular attention to what uh, to what i'll be doing here so what i'm going to do here is i am from uh, i'm from creating my dpo account and they sent the test credential so i'm going to copy the company token here uh okay i paste it here and then your test service id so what i'm going so the test service id is this here so i'm going to paste it right here so now we do have step two configured here okay so now let's try to test what we're doing here let's try to make a payment okay uh php php where is that php here it is and then i'm going to open pay.php okay so uh let's do so this this is uh just a basic this is just a basic uh payment form which i just created for tested purposes only yeah so uh there are some other things that i would have to walk you through guys uh maybe it's more especially for those guys who are not uh basically uh is it zambians yeah those who are not zambians okay create charge token there are a couple of uh, parameters that you guys would have to change like the currency okay i think that is all done from here yeah so that is all done from here all right so um so let's so here's the thing instead of you so let's say if you are from uganda you just have to to say uganda uh okay let's if you are from drc congo just have to say drc congo uh airtel yeah something like this but uh everything comes in the documentation but since i'm from zambia here so the the the, the predefined parameter for mno is airtel zdm and then here it's mtn zdm so here if you wanted to you could just say um uh maybe let's say airtel drc if you are from uh drc uh, the democratic the democratic republic of congo if you are from uganda just have to say airtel ug same applies to any other countries so since me i'm from zambia from my submit.ink.php i just have i just have airtel zdm and then for mtn same applies i just have you just have to use the country code there okay nice stuff so let's uh let's let's get back to business now let's let's try to test okay so i'm going to test for a one Z zambian quacha which is one quacha so i'm just going to say okay the good part about this sdk is that you can it, it, it even has the card you can perform some card payments here name on card credit card number and you can also make use of v with uh, mobile money payment so uh, our main focus here is the mobile money so i'm going to enter one and then i'm going to choose which network since i do i do have some funds on my airtel so i'm just going to cho choose airtel and then lastly here i'm just going to enter my phone number 0972927679 okay so i'm going to click pay now okay pay now okay let's wait let's give it a word please okay 
color and it has prompted from my end so what i just have to do here from my phone is to just confirm by entering my pin so i'm just going to enter my pin this is something that is so secretive and i don't have to share it with anyone else so i'm just going to enter my pin and confirm okay it seems like uh, i took a lot of time so i'm going to redo it again Okay, I'm going to redo it again. So I'm going to click Pena. Okay, I'm going to redo it again. I took a lot of time explaining. Okay, a transaction could not be made. Okay, so let me refresh everything. One ZMW, and I choose Airtel. Then the phone number again, 0972927679. Okay, and then the payment method, mobile money, so pay now. okay let's wait for the prompt on my phone here yeah okay perfect it has prompted and i'm doing it quick quick this time so i've confirmed so now here to show payment successful so let's give it the wait. let's give it the wait since my network was a little bit of interrupted because of uh, this same ussd prompt okay so let's give it the wait and uh, we're going to see payment successful in the green yeah so let's work together yeah transaction process successfully this is what i was talking about so this is how you guys can achieve the integration of airtel mobile money to your php web application if you if, if you guys would like to like store all these values onto your database everything is easy you can just make the modification as you can see here it uh, it has returned the token so this is a very important thing. You can use this token to to make payment verification. Check this to just say to check the status of the payments here. So that simply means if you'd like to integrate it to your database, this is a very important attribute or aspect of the transaction for future references. All, all right, guys. So before I could end this video, I would I would want I would want to let you know that. DPO is one of the most prominent and one of the uh, most trustworthy payment gateways that are on the market as at, as of now. Yeah, so a couple of companies make use of DPO, even Airtel. Airtel does make use of uh, DPO. Airtel, uh, online airtime. Yeah, online airtime. Even Airtel, Liquid Intelligent also makes use of uh, the DPO payment integrations. So that simply means this is a platform that you can trust. This is a platform which is efficient for your business. And I'm going to end from here and see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.